We have a special look now at an important and low-cost heart test that may save your life. It's called cardiac scoring, a simple, inexpensive procedure that can calculate your risk of developing heart disease. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, took a preemptive strike and put his own heart to the test. Take a look. That's right. My grandpa had a heart attack at age 47, and I have controlled hypertension. Knowing I'm in a certain risk category, I decided to get this simple, non-invasive test. You're looking at an image of my heart scanned on a computer by Beaumont Hospital's cardiology team. We're now moving. Yeah. You're going to go now. Yes, I feel, I feel like I'm going right to the stars here. <laughs> As they prep me for this cardiac scoring procedure, I can't help but think there's a possibility my heart could be in danger, and this test may help me learn the truth. I'm going in. After all, my family has a history of heart disease, and it's bothered me so much lately, I decided to check it with Beaumont cardiologist Kavita Shanayan. Calcium scoring uh, is actually a test that looks directly at the arteries that are around the heart. The blood vessels, right? The blood vessels yeah. around the heart to see if there is buildup of calcium. Dr. Shanayan uses a CAT scan procedure to pinpoint any calcium blockages. And there is no contrast involved. It's an X-ray-based test but very low radiation, you're in and out of the scanner and we get a lot of very good information. It sounds pretty easy when you say no contrast, so people are listening, there's no IV given, yes. so you just walk in, uh, in and when you have the test, you have the CAT scan done. The ideal calcium score is zero, where you don't have any calcification, so that puts you at a very low yes, risk, right. right? The very high risk, the super high risk is more than a thousand agastin units, so that is the spectrum. More than 400 is high risk. Dr. Shanayan is quick to point out the calcium score does not indicate the degree of blockage. It's only the degree of atherosclerosis or the general burden of disease. Throughout all the blood vessels, exactly. not a single place. Exactly. You can have a calcium score of zero, but still have blockages. That means these blockages have not had a chance to become calcified yet. And now it's time for my test. Who should really have this test? So this test is, would be most recommended for people who are at medium risk for heart disease, such as people between the ages of 40 and 75 who have a very strong family history of um, heart disease, um, have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and other risk factors, but no symptoms as such for heart disease. Take a breath in yeah. and hold it. About two minutes later. Are you okay? Yeah. Doing all right? Yeah, that's great. You survived it. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> it was pretty easy. Here's your scan. Yes. And you can see the faint outlines of the coronary arteries, and your calcium score is zero. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that makes me feel good because I've, you know, I've kids and a family, and that's why it's important. We're not seeing any calcification throughout there. This is amazing. You know, I was in that machine for two minutes, and you got all this information. That's Absolutely. Just, and that's what we, we're trying to show, you know, how, how much information you can get from a very simple test. While it's a great test, I can't stress this enough. Cardiac scoring is not for people with chest pains or other symptoms. To do it, you'll need a referral from your doctor. A test like the one I took costs about $125. The price may differ at other hospitals, and insurance companies in Michigan will not cover it this time. All right, thank you for that. You'd think that they ought to cover this eventually, so maybe they will. If you have any questions or health concerns, you can email Dr. Nandy at drnandy at wxyz.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. You know, we're pretty much everywhere.